that right now in this moment, for some reason, I resemble Dora the Explorer. Oh! I resemble Dora the Explorer. Do I not? Am I not Dora the Explorer? I'm about to post a picture right now and tell me that I don't look like Dora Explorer right now. Dora! I don't know why, but I'm not mad about that either. I feel like Dora's cute. Okay. Sure. Okay, like I mentioned before, I am Dora the Explorer. Look! I'm in the jungle. Dora, Dora, Dora. I found it. Yemi figgy, one baby, and all right, yeah. Hello, and welcome to my room. My room is my sanctuary. It is the one reprieve I have from the world. I've always been an introvert, and needing time to re-energize and recharge uh, has been something I have learned to um, increasingly value in my life. And so, yeah, I, especially with the quarantine, I've been spending a lot of time in my room and one of my highlights of my day is being able to just put on music and listen and clean and, you know, contemplate and reflect and be creative and all that, all that good stuff. Now on the weekends, I spend a lot of time diving into my <laughs> extensive collection of middle school uh, diaries. I was a very prolific <laughs> writer, confessional writer when I was in the middle school years especially a lot of uh, internal turmoil going on in my in my life at that point and i love having this stuff to look back on because it is it's so precious and it's gold to me because it gives me so much insight into how i became who i am today and uh it makes me laugh and it makes me cringe a lot but uh i am so glad that i have this work that i wrote when i was in a uh, middle school so i talked a lot about uh well, let me not even lie. First of all, the number one theme that was in these notebooks was boys. I was definitely boy obsessed. I like talking about boys. I'm also obsessed with the idea of finding a boyfriend. I don't know why I thought that was going to solve all my problems in life was to find a boyfriend and get a boy to kiss me. That was my endeavor in nearly all. All my stories lead to the world about how I'm gonna get a boy to kiss me. Um, what else did I write about? I wrote about a lot being popular. I think that was another huge thing for me at the time is figuring out how to get more people to like me, how to be popular. I had this idea that there was a certain class of people where they were popular and well-liked and just, I don't know. This idea that there's a group of people that people like a lot and I wanted to be in that group because I felt like they had just better lives. Like they could do all the fun things I saw on TV, like go to parties, always talking about trying to go to get invited to a party somewhere, uh, get up to nonsense, shenanigans, stuff like that. Um, I don't know, just be more mature than the age I actually was. Cause I actually do feel, reading a lot of this stuff, I definitely was immature, but I mean, most middle schoolers are immature. But I definitely was immature, but I had this notion that these kids were somehow more mature than me and they were intellectually like in a different class. But not all the time. Sometimes I acknowledge, a lot of the times, I acknowledge that it was strictly superficial. Like these kids just look different from me. Like predominantly white kids, always talking about the blonde hair, the blue eyes, always talking about just the, you know, very westernized look, the hair. Several places where I mentioned that I wanted to just grow my hair and figure out what to do with my hair, my hair, my hair. Um, so there's definitely the notion that I understood there was definitely superficial parts of um, popularity that I just might never be able to achieve. I never looked, the, I always talk about being freakishly tall. 
I mentioned that a few times how I felt like I was so much more t uh, I was so much taller than everybody else and I was black and I just stood out and my hair was crazy like I just stood out, stuck out like a sore thumb and I hated that I had a list of things I wanted to accomplish this year this was 2005 so I was like 13 number one was to become a pop peep which was my code word for popular person number two grow my hair long that has been at that time and up until recently in my life that has been a lifelong struggle of mine has been my relationship with my hair three have a stronger circle of friends be noticed meet 10 new people have at least 15 friends that are boys have three special boyfriends go to dances make the a honor roll find a best friend kiss a boy get invited to at least four parties, go to movies with friends, wear awesome clothes, throw a super B-Day party. That's all, folks. This is where I grew up. Dad, what's in your pocket? Huh? What's in your pocket? This pocket? Yeah. This pocket? Yeah. There's nothing in the pocket? There's nothing? Nothing? Any pocket? Yeah. 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 Nothing? Yeah. 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 Y
<laughs> I'm gonna get in the car. I was smiling, but you couldn't tell, huh? Mm-mm. I was smiling for the camera and everything. to throw this thing away. <laughs> I think it, I think it is the same one. I forgot to throw it away. I thought I did. I did not. Oh wow. Well. in your pocket? Nothing. No. Cell phone. Other pocket? Nothing. Um, what would you change about yourself in the world? Myself for the world? Yourself or the world? Myself or the world? Hmm. No. I'd probably change uh, the leader of the United States to somebody who's not crazy. That's one. What do you fear? I fear more Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> what do you love? Kazaya. Oh. That's and Bowden. And Bowden. And Bowden. Don't be jealous, Bowden. I guess that's it. <laughs> Anything else? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, Bowden has stuff to say. Is it gonna have pockets? Too bad about it. <laughs> you don't have thumbs either. What are you changing the world right now, Bowden? I would have a treat. Oh, some peanut butter. <laughs> it's too big of Mm-hmm. I guess the peanut butter is a treat. Mm-hmm. People keep saying peanut butter and treat. Yeah, I'm looking at the camera now. I know. I know. Oh, it's not nice to say the P word or the T word. What would you change about the world or yourself, Bun? I'd have peanut butter right now. 